Okay, we're here today to show you the radar session controller and how we've integrated it tightly into the Pro Tools workflow. It just makes things so fast and so easy and so enjoyable and uh, allows you to get through your session in a way that you can focus on the music. Right now we've got our radar dashboard up, which is what you see 15 seconds after turning the power switch on. From there, I can still control everything with the standard radar keyboard and mouse that comes shipped with the product, but I prefer to use the session controller because it's a tactile controller that allows your session to flow really quickly. At this point, I can press the menu button and I can call up any number of applications. I can have a hundred applications uh, on the dashboard. Right now, I've just got radar and Pro Tools. So I'm going to go ahead and select Pro Tools and then while it's loading, after it loads the Pro Tools application software, it's going to come up with a list of recent sessions. I can then use my up and down arrow keys to select the session that I want to work on. Press Enter and it opens the session. In this case, I'm going to pick the first session, which is called Anywhere. And um, there's the session. It's just that fast. In Pro Tools, the way you locate is a four key stroke operation. I hit, if I want to go to locate 12, I hit period, one, two, period. I'm now at location 12. In radar, the way I do that, I just hit one button. So if I want to go to location 12, boom, I'm there. So I can go back to the beginning, locate one. I can go to the middle of the song, locate 16. I'll just zoom out here using the RT keys. Um, I can locate back anywhere in the song I want just with single button presses, and it makes it extremely easy. I can go up to 64 locates with one or two button locates, so it's extremely quick and easy to get around the session. I've got my standard um, programmable five zoomers that are Pro Tool zoom keys. They're labeled here clearly with little magnifying glasses so you can easily get to them. Um, I can mark new locates hitting by, by hitting the mark loc button. I can at this point name it anything I want and then hit enter and now I've just added location 41 to my session. Across the top we've got track arming keys so we've got 24 track arming buttons and um, I can just simply arm 12 tracks and then all of a sudden those tracks are armed. I can flip to my mix window with a single button press and you can see the first 12 tracks are armed and um, it's just very simple to arm and disarm tracks. In Pro Tools, as you know, the only way to arm a track um, other than having a dedicated controller is by using a mouse and it's just so much faster. I can just hold multiple keys and hit them simultaneously and then those tracks are now armed or I can disarm them. The other thing I can do is I can scroll through my session. I can scroll vertically through my session. I've got a 24 track session or I can zoom in and scroll horizontally any location in the session. I can also do solo, mute, and select. So if I want to solo a track, I hit the solo button, and now these 24 buttons are soloing. So I can solo track five. Track five is bouncing, and all the other tracks are temporarily muted, and you can see the temporary mutes on in Pro Tools. But you don't even have to look at the screen because you can see that all right on the meter bridge. Um, I can solo multiple tracks. I can also mute tracks. So if I press the mute function, now these are muting. I can mute all tracks just by hitting shift mute. Now they're all muted. Or I can turn off uh, muting on all tracks by hitting function none. And now none of them are muted. I can also press the select mode. And then when I press the select button, now all tracks are selected for editing or for any of the functions, the normal functions in Pro Tools that you would use the selection function for. I can again uh, select none and you can see if I'll go back to my mix window you can see none are selected. We have also have 36 macro keys available in three banks of 12. So we've got our standard F keys F1 through 6, F7 through 12 and then I've got two additional banks F13 through 24 and F25 through 36. So that allows you to program any multi-key function. You can put hundreds of keystrokes in a single button. 
So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. It's very simple. So I'm going to program F12 to arm my bed tracks. So all I do is I hit Shift, F12, F12 is flashing. I'm going to arm tracks 1 to 6, 9 and 10, and 12, where it's, which is where I happen to have my um, drums and bass guitar connected. I, th I then press F12 again. It's flashing quickly, which means we've now stopped recording that macro, and it's flashing. there's a flashing cursor in the LCD display of the session controller, which means I can now go ahead and label that arm beds. And then I press enter. The light is now solid, which means every time I press F12, it disarms or arms the bed tracks. Um, I can have all of these F keys programmed, but if I can't remember which F key is for which function, I simply hold the F key and it displays the name that I gave it when I programmed the macro. Um, and then I let it go and it doesn't actually implement the function until I tap the key. So it's a really easy way to see what you've done. I can grab a mouse and I can grab a fader and I can go through each track and adjust my levels. But there's a much easier way with the session controller. I can simply uh, take 10, 11 and 12 and I can hold track 10 and then I can adjust it with really high resolution using the jog wheel. So you can see that just ever so slight movements can be attained by just slowly moving the jog wheel. If I want to do multiple, I can go 10, 11, 12 with three fingers and then I can adjust those together. You can also notice that my meter bridge, as soon as I hold any track arm key, like for example, three and three, my meter bridge now turns into a fader position indicator. So if I'm holding three, I turn the jog wheel, three is going up and down. I don't even need to take my focus off the music if I'm looking at the artist through the glass. I just have to look up, I can see him, I can look down at my meter bridge, I don't have to look over at my monitor. And so there, um, it's a very quick way to go through my mix. I can go through and adjust one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, etc. Multiple and go through and adjust my entire mix very, very easily. I can even um, do them all together by hitting the select button and then selecting all tracks and then I can hit put my finger on any one, any button and then I'm adjusting them all simultaneously. And, it's, and it retains the proportionality so that if I crank it right to the top, they all flatten out, but then they, it remembers their position when you come down into the middle, same on the bottom, it all flattens out. I can even adjust my, um, my pan position. So over here I've got pan position one. I hold one and I can, I can adjust by hitting the scroll button. Now I can adjust my panner. I can do multiples and I can adjust the panning like that. And the, the pan position is indicated right here in the session controller LCD display. It's, it's, uh, you can see the numbers changing in the far right corner and so I can get it right exactly to where I want it to go with that high resolution or I can zero it out. I can also zero out all my faders uh, by hitting, holding the any track arm key and then simultaneously hitting the up and down arrow keys and then it zeroes out all my faders across the board and then I can start my mix again. So if you use Pro Tools, make it an even more professional experience with the Radar Session Controller. The workflow is incredible and you just get quickly through your session. It allows you to focus on the music and to really get the benefit of the sound quality that Radar can give you.